All right, so uh, I'm going to address this toxic masculinity we hear people throw around every once in a while. Not real, okay? Not real, doesn't exist. I'm going to explain to you exactly why I believe this. So when I grew up, the bar on masculinity was set so high because I have an uncle who's very much like a man's man. He's such a man's man, so masculine. His name is Dick. How much more masculine do you get than a guy named Dick? He's 6'2", 300 pounds, played college football, goes by Dick. That's a huge Dick, okay? That's, that's a very big Dick to have as an influence growing up. In fact, let's keep in mind, obviously, his name isn't even really Dick. It's Richard, okay? But he's such a man, so much masculinity that he's like, hey, forget Richard. I go by Dick. Call me Dick. You see me, you say Dick. Damn! That's a, wow, that's a lot of masculinity. But again, not toxic, not toxic. I wanna give you a little bit of rundown of what it was like growing up as a, as a kid with this role model, Dick. Okay, so, <laughs> I would go by Dick's house sometimes when he's just hanging out. Like, like Dick's married to my aunt. They've got kids. Like, Dick does great. He's got a nice house, you know. He does very well. But when Dick relaxes, yo, this dude watches football. Of course, on the floor of his living room, just sprawls out 300 pounds. The dude's huge. Almost naked. He wears just tidy whities Just mostly just rocking out, doesn't care. Whoever comes over, he doesn't give a shit. His kids want to bring friends. Yeah, bring your friend. I don't, I, he doesn't care. He knows where he's at. So Dick's laying out, all hairy, mostly naked, on the floor, watching football, got his dog. This is pretty masculine, right? Pretty masculine. How does he ice the cake? Football, dog, naked, eating lunch meat. Swear to God, you can't make this up off his chest. Dick eats meat off from his chest. <laughs> I can't, I gotta like give a pause for you. Like, I really mean that. Dick eats meat off his chest when he's watching TV. Like he's not, what? Does it still have packaging? Or it no, like he would just put like some fucking ham. He'd put like, <laughs> I swear to God, like pepperonis. People put pepperonis on pizza. Dick puts it on his chest. He put fucking pepperoni on his chest, stick his finger like in some fucking hummus or something, and just, he, he, he likes crunch, so he'd have like wheat thins, some triscuits or some shit. He'd just, he'd have like his arm around the dog. He'd be reaching in the box to have some crackers and throw back some fucking pepperoni while he's watching NFL Red Zone. Holy... Shit, that's some masculinity to have in your life. And you know what? Not toxic. Top that, I dare you. It's still not toxic. There's nothing wrong with that. He's being a man. And maybe it's toxic like for his veins. I don't know, he ate a lot of pepperoni off that chest. Maybe, maybe his doctor, his dietician might say it's toxic. Socially, not toxic, not at all. Let's move on to another example. Maybe a possibility of physical toxicity from Dick. Dick is uh, Dick is a tugboat captain. Okay, Dick rides dri drives boats. Like he's in the water a lot. He knows a ton about boats. Dick has an awesome boat. So one time, Dick decided I don't know why. Just fucking Dick. It, when it was time to pull his boat out of the water, he's got a big truck. He's got a big boat. He's got the trailer. I don't know why he didn't back his truck. He just wanted to see if he could. Pull the boat out of the water without the truck. Just with himself, just with his back. The guy tied a rope around his waist. He did it himself? Himself! He tied the other end of the rope to his boat and he just started to like, you know those like, like strongest man in the world competitions and shit when they're trying to tow tractor trailers? Yeah, that Dick just decided, fuck it. Let's just see if I can tow my boat with my back. So he's pulling this huge boat and he did it 
He did. He fucked himself up a little bit though. Dick's Dick's back hurt him for like I don't know, two weeks. He was it, it was not it was not a good idea. But none. So yes, sure, toxic to his back a little bit. But again, not. I don't see the toxicity. I don't. That's very masculine. That you're gonna try to do the work of your truck one day, and you just just to see if you can. That guys do that shit. I think it's fantastic. I, I think it's you know. Maybe it was a little big of a boat. He did he did hurt his back, but he's okay now. He's great, huh? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. he just laid down. That's all he did. He just ate more lunch meat off his chest on the floor. That's it. Yeah, that's how you work out your back. That's what you do. Whatever. All right, this is the most masculine thing I've ever seen Dick do. And this one fucked me up a little bit. This one I was like, whoa, whoa, he set the bar high. This is out of control. All right, so when I was 12 years old, I lived down the street from Dick and uh, he had just bought a house. He and my aunt bought this house down the street and Dick, like, he was awesome about his house, man. It was like, like a little bit older, like a fixer upper. Man, Dick painted that house. Dick had the lawn looking amazing. Dick was building a deck on, like he, he cleaned up, man. He really, it, it, you know, he, he went hard on the house. It was pretty cool. The backyard, the grass was like a carpet. It was unreal. I mean, it was like out of a magazine. It was such green, plush grass. It was so cool. So we're walking through the grass in the backyard. It tells me a little bit about the grass, but he's the, we're there to see this deck that he's building himself. Dick builds the deck. Why not? Sure, has he ever done it before? Nope, but can he do it? Why not? Yeah, he buys a nail gun and a saw, fucking figures it out. So, as we're walking through the backyard and Dick's pointing, so here's the deck and I'm about to build a second level over here. He's looking at it out of the corner of his eye because he's so in love with this grass also, he notices that his black lab had shit in the grass in his backyard that he manicures. While keeping his eye on the deck and still talking about the deck, Dick leans over with his bare hand, grabs the pile of dog shit with his hand, still leaning a little bit, sidearm baseball chucks the shit into the woods at the edge of his property, launches the shit, still bent over a little bit, just kind of dusts his hand in the grass and with his other hand continues, but I think I'm gonna put a railing on the deck right over there, like on the second level and we'll have that going and then I'm gonna paint the whole, like just, Dick didn't skip a beat. Dick just picked up dog shit with his hands. I was 12, okay? so. I knew I was about to be 13. I thought that was kind of the big step out to round the corner into manhood, get some chest hair. My age is with a teen. But then I see Dick throw shit with his hand and move on like it wasn't unusual at all. And I realize I am light years from manhood. If that's really how all men roll, I am light years from being a man. And, uh, Still, again, maybe toxic only if he went straight from the shit hand to like some roni off the chest. Then he might get a little sick and that could be toxic. Otherwise, nothing toxic. I think this is just strong masculine uh, role model ship, if you will. And uh, I encourage it. I, I, I think everyone should have an Uncle Dick. I don't believe mass toxic masculinity is a real thing. I think we should all, we should all be big dicks. That's what I think, so. <laughs> That's my thought. No, big six.